Hello there. This is going to cover how to make anything you wish into a custom mask. First thing that I'm going to do is place this image in my overlay track. You don't want the image you use to take up the entire screen. I'm going to maintain my aspect ratio and make it to the size that I desire it to be. This is the look that I'm looking for, so now all I need to do is take a snapshot. Clear your timeline and put this image in it. You're going to come up here and open your tools and open Painting Creator. Select this camera image and then select Still Mode. Select your Preference tab next. Make sure all three of these boxes are checked. Then just select OK. In the top left corner is where you can customize the shape of your brush. With this padlock here unlocked, you can select the height of your brush and you can also select the width of your brush, which is a very nice feature. When the padlock is locked, the sliders only create a perfect circle. Myself personally, I don't use the perfect circle very often. I like the custom shapes. Then select the Tools tab in your paintbrush and you're going to want to Set your softness, which is here by default is 50. Set your softness down to 15. It makes the edges smoother. Then just select OK. This is where you choose your colors. I prefer bright ones. They tend to stand out a little better. I want to draw your attention to this slider up here. This is your transparency control. If this is slid all the way to the right, this is what you see. So if when you first open Painting Creator you see no image, so just slide it back to the left and you will see your image. There is some significance to this that we will be going back to later. Zoom in and out of your image from here, and you want to be zoomed in enough so that it's easy for you to follow the detail of your drawing as you're drawing in on your image. Experiment with brush shapes until you find a shape that ultimately works best for you. Start by filling the outline of the image that you've chosen to use. If you make a mistake, simply right click and use your tool as an eraser. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and finish filling in my drawing. Okay, once your outline is complete, just increase the size of your brush and finish filling in the rest of your drawing. With the drawing complete, we use our transparency slider. Slide it to the right. Then you want to be looking for any white showing through your red color zoom in and look around for small white marks. There's a small one directly over my pointer. Okay, once complete, turn your transparency back up and you want to save your image. Select OK and the image will appear in your library. Okay, so now all you gotta do is delete this. You don't need it anymore. Okay, now we're going to drag this image into the timeline. Timeline first, because I want to show you the difference between that and when you put it in an overlay. Okay, now drag it into your overlay track. And there is where the magic happens. You now can put a video behind this in the main part of your timeline. So the only thing left is insert some video. This is an ultralight airplane that flew over my house the other day, and I thought, hey, this will work. Okay, I've edited my clip a little bit, and here's the final effect. Just grab the edge of your mask and stretch it out so that it covers more of the video. And here is our effect. This is the complete project. Not bad, huh? All that's left is trimming the length of the video and saving the file. So I hope you liked the tutorial and I want to bring up at this point 
that you can use this same technique for the Star Trek teleporter effect in my other tutorial although I still believe GIMP has higher resolution and it's easier to have a more desirable result but this method does work. I want to mention that there's a person named Grips G-R-I-P-P-S that also does Corel video tutorials he kind of inspired me to do more than one tutorial after I did my teleporting one and you can learn a significant number of things if you haven't heard of him be sure to check out his stuff also and lastly my next tutorial will cover this effect thanks for tuning in